So we have reached 2019, can you believe it? Last year came and went in a flash and so as is tradition with the arrival of a new year, we also have a set of fresh Android applications ready to get your year started with a bang. 20 applications in total, none of which are sponsored. So get your phones ready, sit back and let's get into it. Perhaps the biggest downside to devices getting bigger and bigger these days is that they become less one-handed friendly and so bottom quick settings is an app designed to help. This app takes one core functionality of Android, the quick settings menu, which definitely isn't one-handed friendly, and shifts it to the bottom, making it really easy to access with one hand. It doesn't replace the stock quick settings menu, but it looks and feels very smooth and authentic. There are also a bunch of customizations available within the settings, so this is an app worth trying out. In a similar vein, Reachability Cursor is an app also designed to help improve one-handed ability and its functionality is actually pretty phenomenal. It's super easy to use. You simply swipe from either the left or right edge of your phone's display and a little tracker pops up that clones your movements to a cursor at the top portion of your screen. From here, you can interact with the top of your phone's display using this trackpad, redeeming the one-handed friendliness of your decently sized smartphone. Seriously cool design and functionality. With the launch of Android Pie, we saw a redesign to the multitasking app switcher. And whilst it works great, if you're using the default launcher, it becomes a bit glitchy when you switch to using a third-party launcher. Enter LaunchStep. So LaunchStep is a companion application that works alongside version two of the Launch Air launcher. It does unfortunately require root, but if you're open to doing that on your Android Pie enabled device, then you can actually set Launch Air as the default launcher on your phone, meaning you gain all of that beautiful customization ability that comes from using Launch Air, but you also retain the flawless and smooth performance of the multitasking and app switcher features that really only work best when using the default launcher. You can also set it up so that swiping left on the home button replaces the back key functionality, which I am all about. I've left a link to an XDA article that explains the process of setting it up, but if you're looking for a reason to root your phone in 2019, then this app is seriously worth it in and of itself. There are heaps of customization videos on my channel, and even still, I haven't yet featured the fairly new custom lock screen application. So this is actually an unreleased application as of the making of this video, and as the name implies, it is an app that lets you customize your lock screen. It's from the same custom family as KWGT and KLWP, so it's got the reputation to back it and the UI to make it relatively easy to set up. This app works best when you use template apps also available on the Play Store. And these help you achieve some really creative and unique looking lock screens, but you can also just dive into the settings and start creating to your heart's content as well. Not only that, but the developer has been kind enough to give me 30 free promo codes for this application, which I will be releasing over on Twitter in the coming weeks. And these go super quick, so make sure you're following me over there to be the first in line to get this app for free. Staying in the theme of customization for a moment, and KLWP is also a part of the custom family, but it is instead a custom live wallpaper app that lets you set interactable wallpapers that act pretty much as home screen launches. And one of the best themes available on the Play Store is the materialized home application. Once you've set it up, you get these really neat sliding cards that are interactable and that control your home screen experience. It's seriously fluid and looks nothing short of amazing. You have four pages to select from, home, weather, music, and news, and each card lets you tap on it to open up a second page of shortcuts and toggles and other information as well. It looks and feels phenomenal, so if you're looking for a refreshed home launcher experience, this app is seriously great. Whilst we see some smartphone manufacturers producing pretty good quality phone speakers, it's still a pretty mixed bag across the board and all too often, smartphones do end up with poor speakers. Well, Boom is an unreleased music player app that lets you dive in and customize the EQ of your phone's audio output. You can play locally stored music files or connect to Spotify or Tidal, as well as listening to your favorite podcasts or internet radio, and whatever you listen to through the app will be affected by the EQ changes you make. The experience is even more noticeable with earphones or headphones on, but I can certainly still hear a difference through my phone's loudspeakers. So if you're looking to enhance your audio listening experience on your favorite smartphone device, then this app is well worth a go. I make it my goal to feature any good home screen launcher that I come across, and the latest is without a doubt the customized Pixel Launcher, otherwise known as CPL. 
As the name would imply, this is a launcher that bases itself off of the Pixel launcher, which means sleek animations and smooth functionality, but then it adds in heaps and heaps of customization ability as well. All the basics are there, such as custom icon packs, grid sizes, and so forth, but also pretty much every other aspect of the launcher can be customized as well. From app opening animations to gestures and notification dots, there are so many layers to this launcher that I think it's probably up there with Launchair as one of the Nova launches of Pixel style launches. All right, this one is simple yet so great. If you find yourself typing similar things over and over, then it might be worth trying Typing Hero. So this app lets you set up a range of short keywords or shortcuts, which will expand into any lengthy piece of text you want instantly. You simply input the words or phrases you frequently type, then set a series of keywords. And then whenever you type these keywords anywhere on your smartphone, the app will replace it with your predetermined word or phrase instantly. I've got my email address set up to trigger after typing into at symbols, which makes life very easy. And you can also easily transfer text to Typing Hero from within the native clipboard menu. So for apps that increase your productivity, this app is definitely near the top of the list. If you've got multiple Android devices and you're tired of missing notifications received on either one, then Bridge is an app designed to help. Once set up, Bridge will duplicate any notifications received on one device to the other. And what's really cool is that not only can you view the notifications, but you can also interact with them using quick actions, just like what you'd be able to do on the original notification. Dismissing a notification on one device will also dismiss it on the other, and it's a seriously well implemented and thought out application. The default camera apps can do the job just fine for day-to-day -day photography and casual video capturing, but for those looking to up their video and photography games, well, the Moment Camera app is a camera application that offers lots of functionality. Now, the app is really designed for enhancing your experience with using the Moment Lens attachments, but for me, the video side of this app is really where things get exciting, and I don't even own a Moment Lens. So using this app, you can dive into all of the different manual settings you might want to adjust, including shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and focus. And this will vastly improve the control you have over your videos, giving them a more professional look and feel. It's got some catching up to do in terms of matching the quality of the iOS version, but with each new update, the app gets more and more improved and stable. So it's definitely worth a try. If you're looking to spruce up your home screen, then you may want to check out Hex Shaders, a unique pattern-based live wallpaper application that will make any boring home screen come alive. So the app lets you pick from a range of what are called shader programs. And from there, you can customize the detail level, the slideshow, and also time scale of the hex-based animations. And this results in some really cool looking backdrops. My favorites are by far the Meta Balls, Hot Shower, and Tiny Cloud programs. They really do look phenomenal and surprisingly don't drain a lot of battery. So definitely an app worth trying. So there are hundreds, if not thousands of note-taking applications available on the Play Store. So it takes a lot to stand out, but the Otter Voice Notes application has certainly found a way. Instead of just relying solely on typed notes, Otter is based off of voice transcripts, recording and storing your voice notes, both as a file that you can listen back to and as a written transcript for reading back at your convenience. It's designed to help you be more focused during those times you want to be taking notes. So for example, during meetings, lectures, or interviews, or anywhere else for that matter, rather than having to multitask by listening and taking notes at the same time, you simply hit record and let the app do all the work for you. In a day and age where just about everything is visual, it's important to find new and creative ways to make your content spark. And Over is potentially one such way. In its simplest form, Over is a photo editing app, but rather than just tweaking and manipulating the colors and looks of your images, which you can do as well, it's really an app designed to create social media friendly posts and content. You can choose from a range of super high quality templates and then tweak, add and customize until you have something you like the look of. From there, save it to your camera roll or share it directly to your socials and watch the positive feedback flow in. You're never too old to do some good old fashioned coloring in, and so Pigment is an application that fits the bill perfectly. So this app defines itself as an adult coloring book application, but that doesn't mean it's not great for young ones as well. You simply dive in and pick from a massive range of cartoons and templates and use the tools to start coloring in and bringing them to life. You can use the fill tool for a fairly simple coloring in experience or the paintbrush, which conveniently auto detects and then stays between the lines. And this gives your finished images a really authentic yet still polished look. Great for hours of entertainment. With each new year that comes around, we all have our own set of new year's resolutions that we hope to stick to for longer than just a few weeks. And for those wishing to learn a new language this year, well, staying to that goal just became a whole lot easier. 
They're certainly not the least well-known app on this list, but there's no doubt that Drops has earned its reputation by being really well designed and super easy to use, and it makes learning a new language outrageously easy. There are 31 languages available within the app, and the best part is that it only takes five minutes a day. So even if you're an amateur photographer or videographer, then you've no doubt heard of the golden hour. And Photo Time is an app that lets you keep track of exactly when that will occur in any given location. So if you're not sure what it is, golden hour is a set period in both the morning and evening during sunrise and sunset where the sun is in the sky, but only just enough so that it creates this beautiful golden light that can help to create some really visually impressive images and videos. It seriously makes the life of a cinematographer shooting in natural conditions a hundred times easier. And Photo Time will show you exactly when golden hour will occur in your desired location. This is definitely an app that I'll be keeping around. So how often do you find yourself surfing the web and seeing something you want to read later on, but you just know you'll forget to? Well, Inbox It is perhaps the solution you've been waiting for. So from the get-go, you simply set the app up with an email of your choosing. And from there, whenever you stumble on something you want to access and read or view later on, you simply tap to share and then select the Inbox It icon. And from there, the app will then send you a link to your selected page and leave it sitting in your email inbox. This means you can leave it unread until you have the time to check it out later on and you don't have to worry about forgetting it. Super simple, but really helpful as well. Many of us no doubt wish we had better discipline in terms of going to bed at an appropriate time. And so the aptly named Go To Sleep is an app that has been made to help us in improving at exactly that. You simply set up a desired bedtime and the app will gently notify and remind you when you should be getting ready for bed and when it is beyond your allocated bedtime. It's a really helpful way to get into healthier sleep habits. And on top of that, the app is really nicely designed with this minimal look and feel as well. So if you're looking for a quick and convenient way to see weather information at a glance, then you may just want to look into the Navbar weather app. As the name would imply, this application places weather information behind your navigation bar. It is set up out of the box to show you temperature and weather info for the next five days in the form of graphs and numbers. And it actually kind of looks pretty cool. But if that's not your style, you can also set it up to show you an image representation of the weather as well. Really cool idea for an app and definitely suited to those of you wanting to maximize your display real estate. And finally, you ready for the name of this last app? Here we go, it's Make Your Old Phone a Home Security Camera. So a fairly self-explanatory application. But seriously, I love how this can take an old phone that's just sitting in a drawer gathering dust and turn it into something that's actually useful. You simply install this app on both of your devices, log in with the same Gmail account, and then turn on camera mode on your old phone. And then the feed will pop up on your current device available for viewing at any time. You get the benefit of using the more often than not superior cameras on your smartphone compared to dodgy security cameras. And there are heaps of other features that are worth trying out as well, including free cloud recording storage and motion detection. Seriously, worth a go. But that is it for this video. As always, each and every app will be included as links down in the notes below, so don't forget to check them out. If you enjoy these app style videos, I kick off every month throughout the year with a brand new episode of Top Android App. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon as well so that you're notified each time one of these videos is released. Aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.